In this how-to video, we're going to look at the proper way to use a razor for professional window cleaning. We're also going to talk about some of the do's and don'ts as well. So let's get right to it. And a quick disclaimer, I do not suggest anybody new to window cleaning to use your razor on tempered glass or on your customer's windows at all. I would always practice first on a non-tempered window of your own before using it on your customer's glass. And once you feel comfortable with using your razor, always make sure your customer signs a scratch waiver. This should release you from any damages you may do to their window. I also want to include that we do not razor every single window that we clean. We typically only use razors to remove extremely stubborn debris such as paint or tape. We always try to find a safer alternative to remove debris from the window, like I'm doing here using the Quad Zero Steel Wool. I also suggest to change your blades frequently. If I'm at a job that I know that I'll be using my razor a lot at, like this construction cleanup, I will definitely change it, preventing using a nicked, dinged, or rusted blade. I also carry extra stainless steel blades with me so I can swap them out, increasing my productivity at work, and also preventing any scratches on the glass. And lastly, before you use your razor on the window, make sure to check one of the four corners for a tempered glass marking. Again, I do not suggest using a razor on tempered glass. Due to poor quality windows, the glass can be easily scratched with your razor, so proceed with extreme caution. Now with all the cautionary stuff out of the way, let's get to step by step on how to professionally remove debris with your razor. Step 1. Wetting down the glass. Always razor wet windows, never razor a dry piece of glass. You'll see here, when razoring a wet window, the water channels any debris away from the razor. If I were to razor a dry piece of glass, I would have a better chance of grinding the debris into the glass, which could cause scratches. Step 2. Removing the debris with the razor. Using moderate pressure, I typically start at the top of the window. You'll see here that I'm working the sides of the window first, making sure that I'm removing any of the debris that's close to the frame of the window. After working all of the sides of the window, I will re-wet the glass and then I will razor the center of the window, again making sure that I'm removing all of the debris from the glass. And a quick pro tip, after razoring the window, I would re-wet the window and use your abrasive pad and thoroughly scrub down the entire surface of the glass ensuring that you remove any of the debris that the razor may have missed. And lastly, of course, removing the water from the glass. As you remove the water from the glass, make sure you keep your eye out for any debris you may have missed on the window. I'd suggest going back to your abrasive pad and trying to remove it that way rather than wetting down the glass and using your razor again. I hope this video has helped. Please stay tuned for more How to Clean Windows with Luke the Window Cleaner. Thanks for watching. I'm Alex with Window Cleaning Resource. If you enjoyed this video, please check us out at windowcleaner.com or give us a call at 862 2660677 we were window cleaners before we started selling the equipment our sales reps were window cleaners before they started selling so we know what we're talking about when it comes to the equipment that's right for your business we have hands-on knowledge of the equipment we sell and we're here to help you make the right decision give us a call or check us out at windowcleaner.com thanks a lot